Taking a live look now at the Royal Jamaica Yacht Club near Kingston as the island of Jamaica braces for the storm. It's expected to pass very close to the island this afternoon. Now the storm has already killed six people in the Caribbean as it passed over smaller islands earlier this week. Here's a look at satellite images showing before and after the storm hit the Kariakou Island in the Grenadines. It was a category four storm and you can see the damage left behind. Now this is a look as the storm moved through St. Lucia today. It's expected to strike Jamaica with devastating winds, damaging waves and life threatening flash flooding. Tom Hansen reports from Montego Bay. From the Caribbean, a sail drone's close up view of hurricane barrels, intense winds and rough waves churning toward Jamaica. It comes after Barrel tore across parts of the Caribbean earlier this week, including the Dominican Republic on Tuesday as the sea barreled into Santo Domingo's coast. And newly released satellite images draw a stark contrast before and after the storm's impact on the affected islands. The situation is grim. Uh, there is no power. Uh, there's almost complete destruction of uh, homes and buildings. Here in Jamaica, people packed grocery stores yesterday to stock up on food and water ahead of the storm's arrival. Jamaica must take this hurricane seriously. Last night, the country's prime minister urged people to have emergency plans and brought attention to the role of climate change in creating a historically large storm for this time of year. Our region bears the brunt of the impacts of climate change. The hurricane further highlights the urgent need for global climate action. Definitely not the uh, vacation either of us envisioned, to say the least. Added Jane and his sister Ayushi traveled to Montego Bay from Philadelphia with their parents a few days ago. Now the family is sheltering in place at their Airbnb and called the experience frightening. We got some food, we got water, um, kind of just hope for the best. There's really nothing we can do at this point. And for travelers trying to get out of Jamaica and out of the path of this storm, that window has closed because the airport is closed until the hurricane warning is lifted. Now, after Barrel moves through Jamaica, it will set its sights on the Yucatan Peninsula. That's where Barrel is headed next. Tom Anson, CBS News, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Tom, thank you.